Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with you three of the bi-weekly contest 64 plates between candles. Between candles? Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially if you like these lead code contests because we have a bunch of people discussing it uh, usually right afterwards and just kind of go posting their code and sharing tips and so forth. Anyway, so this one is... So the first thing that I would say is that prefix sum is something that you have to be very familiar with to solve this. Um, or, yeah, I mean, I, you cannot do it without prefix sum. And there are a lot of problems of prefix sum, or not a lot of problems of prefix sum, but a lot of problems to solve on lead code on prefix sum. So definitely go through that if you have trouble with this one. Um, so that's a hint. Um, so because let's say you have a string um, with prefix sum, the way to, to think about uh, uh, this problem, uh, we'll go with the basic first, is that, you know, we can do a running count of, uh, in this case, stars, right? Uh, yeah, in this case, we have to do a running sum of the stars. So let's just say this is one, two, this is two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, seven, right? And then here, the idea is that, okay, to get, um, to get, the number of stars in between two points, then we just have to look at uh, two locations, right? For example, th there's this one. Uh, let's say we want to occur between these two. Well, we know that uh, there are three stars in between because, because uh, you know, let's say we so we're occurring this substring right here, right? And this substring right here is just basically you could count the number of stars that are here minus the number of stars that are in the prefix of this, right? So in this case, this is five, and this is going to be two, and then you subtract them to get the thing in the middle, right, to get three. Okay. So in this, so we haven't done, dealt with the plates yet. We only dealt with the candles, um, but that's basically the idea, or maybe the other way around. I forget which one's plates and which one's candles, but you know what I mean. So, so yeah, there's three of the things that you care about. Um, but of course, in this case, that is not the right answer, right? Because we only care about the ones that are between the other thing. I forget which one is which, sorry. Uh, right? For example, we don't want to count this thing. So what do we do? Well, the thing that I notice is that you just have to um, do a... You, you want to trim the stuff to the left and to the right, right? For example, if you want to, want to get this prefix instead, let's move the pointer here um and move the pointer maybe here right then here you want this one well there's none to the um oh and then you want to trim everything to the left so that you effectively move this here right and then here you want to trim everything to the right to you effectively move here um and of course if you do a for loop or something like that to to look to do the trimming on every query that's going to be too slow because there are too many queries and you effectively do something that's o of n times q and that's going to be too slow because that's 10 to the 10 right 10 to the fifth times 10 to the fifth which is 10 to the 10. um so th the thing that you can do now is just pre-process that as well so just by keeping track of um on the you know the one that's on the left and on the right what is the closest to you can uh is it candle the, the co closest interesting point of interest thing uh to the left or to the right so that you trim it in all of one uh, and that's basically the idea that i have here um uh, I, I trust that you have to um uh <clears throat> yeah um yeah, I mean, I trust that you, that should be a good enough explanation. Um, but yeah, but this is basically what I did. Uh, this is going on the left. So left is just to, for me to pre-calculate um, the left of, um, like going left on an item uh, uh, and trimming to the right. Um, and then here, I do the same for the right. I go backwards to kind of count, look at what is the closest uh, pipe, which I, I don't even know if it's a pipe. But I don't know, whatever. Like I... I I can't remember which one's plate and which one's candles, but okay. Yeah, and in this case, this is the prefix sum that we were talking about. We set it to zero on the left, of course. Um, and then to answer a query, we just go, okay, we tr we move the right to the thing that's left up to the right, which contains the pipe. And we do the same for the left. And of course, this means that we, we deleted everything, so we append zero. Otherwise, we do this prefix sum that we talked about. I have a lot of videos on prefix sum, I think, so check out one of those or let me know. And yeah, I didn't go that 
detailed about it, but yeah, let me make this slightly smaller for y'all so you can see it all on one screen. Uh, but that's pretty much all I have. Um, you can see that this is linear time, linear space because I just do three for loops here uh, and then one Q here, uh, one loop, Q loop here. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be O of N plus Q time in total and O of N space. Oops, how did that come out like that? Hmm. Yeah, um, let me know what you think. And you can watch me sub it live in the contest next. between the candles as I Which one is a plate again? Okay. It's a lot of queries, okay. It's not so bad, it's just a lot of typing. Um.
this is not right as we'll see Okay, so this is right for the wrong answer, but May have been off by one, a little YOLO. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, my explanation, whatever you like. Um, on Discord, a lot of contest people now are, are lead code contest people are there. So definitely share in the moment and, and you know, just chat about nerdy things. Anyway, uh, yes. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Have a great weekend. Or I guess if you're watching it in the future, then maybe just have a great day or rest of the week or whatever it is. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.